I give the floor to Iran. The most egregious case of apartheid has been unfolding in the occupied Palestine, where a whole nation is immiserated, humiliated, and brutalized under a military occupying apartheid system. The de facto role is, in fact, an apartheid regime. An apartheid regime we must end all discriminatory laws, practices, and policies, apartheid, and fully respect Palestinian human rights. The system of apartheid. Israel's imposition of an apartheid regime. Policies of apartheid. 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 Amnesty International has, like others, concluded after years of research and analysis that apartheid describes the system of oppression and domination that exists in Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. Mr. President, we heard the world's most racist regimes joined by so-called anti-racists saying, quote, Israel practices apartheid. But I just visited the capital of Israel. I heard 200 minaret loudspeakers call Muslims to pray. I saw Arabs and Jews walking together in the same parks, malls, and hospitals. In the Knesset, an Arab Muslim party is a central part of the coalition government. Now, those claiming that the existence of the State of Israel is a racist endeavor, like Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch, which manufactured massive reports making these claims, are telling terrible lies. In recent years, these groups have accused major democracies of systemic racism. If so, why did they single out Israel, 0.11% of the world population, as the only democracy on the planet to be targeted by such an investigation and report? Why no apartheid report on China hurting one million Muslim Uyghurs into camps? Why no apartheid report on the 900,000 black slaves in Mauritania, a member of this council? In 2015, at its annual assembly, Amnesty voted against doing a report on anti-Semitism. Why not? Unfortunately, they tweeted, we can't campaign on everything. And why of all countries in the world is Amnesty campaigning to boycott Israel? Asked in an interview, the gist of the reply was, well, you have to begin somewhere. Indeed. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.